Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. When we talk about power in spiritual practice and magical practice, it's a different kind of power than what is typically used or how the word is typically used. When we're talking about power in these practices and in these traditions, we're talking about energy and we're talking about the power that comes from our connection to our higher selves, our connection to the universe, our connection to spirit. Sometimes when I talk to people about honing in on the potential of their power, connecting to power, connecting to the power that is available to humans, tapping into it, learning to use it, develop it, implement it. People get intimidated or people get put off because they assume or they're afraid that you're talking about the kind of power that would indicate dominance over another or dominance over the world around you. And people will say things to me like, don't you think humans already have too much power? You know, look at our political system or look at uh, our relationship with the, uh, with the environment. Aren't people already a little bit too aligned with power? So I want to be clear that the kind of power we're talking about here is an inner power that comes from a deeper alignment. It comes from an alignment with energy, the energy that is inside of you, the energy that exists in your relationship to spirit, and the energy that you can learn to raise, um, shape, send, and direct through the use of magic. When we're talking about this kind of energy and the power associated with it, or this kind of power that comes from a deep connection and a deep alignment, we're talking about power that allows us to live in a more harmonious way, a power that allows us to live um, more intuitively, that allows us to live in alignment with nature, in alignment with the world around us, a power that allows us to be more mindful of our emotions, of our thoughts, of our relationships with others, more mindful of our behaviors, more mindful of what's happening within ourselves, what's happening in our mental landscape, what's happening in our emotional landscape a power and alignment that allows us to do our own shadow work, to do our self growth, to work on our relationship with ourselves and our relationship with the world around us and to live more holistically. So I think that it's an interesting concept to contemplate. What are the different kinds of power and what do people mean when they talk about power? Typically when we talk about tuning into or becoming aware of your inner power in terms of the practice of magic or in terms of your spiritual connection or developing your spiritual relationship, we're talking about a power that allows us to live in a more aligned, more conscious, more compassionate, more empathetic, more intuitive way. So I hope this gives you some food for thought. Stay blessed, be well.